Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new MVP Baseball 2005 Dynasty mode as we are going to be taking control of the Florida Marlins. We do have some goals. We have a three-year contract in which we must win a World Series, one league championship series, and maintain a .530 win percentage as we're going to take a quick look at the roster here that we'll be working with in year one. In left field, we're going to have a young 21-year-old Miguel Cabrera in center field we have Juan Pierre and in right field Jose Encarnacion. Shortstop we're going to have a 28 year old Adrian Gonzalez, Luis Castillo at second base, Mike Lowell at third base, Jeff Conan at first base, and Paul LaDuca at catcher. And right behind him we have Josh Willingham, a top 100 prospect in our organization. This is what our starting pitching rotation will look like. Josh Becker is our ace, followed up by Dontrell Willis, Al Leiter, and Ismail Valdez. And our bullpen will will be rounded out by Guillermo Moda as our closer. Taking a look at our farm system, specifically in Double A, we have three top 100 prospects, specifically with two of them being the ace and second in rotation for our Double A affiliate, the Carolina Mudcats. But those guys are part of our future, but we have to focus on the here and now as we get ready for our opening day series, as we will be at home taking on the Atlanta Braves. Josh Beckett will be taking the mound for us, and Tim Hudson, the ace for the Braves. Starting out in the top of the first, it's going to be Raphael Furcal. He's going to take this one deep left field, and that one is gone. And just like that, we start the season off by giving up a home run. As now with two outs to go, a line drive to Adrian Gonzalez. That would end the top half of the first, as that's going to be a ground ball past third base. And that's going to be the first hit for us on the season. As Mike Lowell's up to bat, base is loaded. That's going to bounce off the pitcher. And he's not going to get there in time. But he would pick up the RBI as Jeff Conine strikes out. And that would end the first inning here in Florida. Moving to the second inning now. Runner on first, Adam LaRoche up to the plate. That's going to get down into left field, bouncing up against the wall. Juan Pierre fields it. And the runner is coming around third. And that's going to be another run for the Braves. As now Raphael Furcal up to the plate. Runners on second and third. Deep fly ball into left center field. Juan Pierre is there to put it away and that will be another run as they tag up here for Atlanta. As they extend this lead 3-1. to one. Marcus Giles now up to the plate. Deep left field over Miguel Cabrera's head and that is gone for a two-run homer. Two outs now. And that's going to be a deep fly ball into right field. Jose Encarnacion is there to put it away and finally end this inning. As we move to the top of the fourth. Runner on second, two outs. And it looks like we're not going to get out of this with no harm done. Marcus Giles again with another home run. As Jose Estrada now up to the plate. Runners on the corners. That's going to get down into shallow center field. And that's going to score another run for Atlanta. As that would bring up Raul Mondesi now to the plate. Top of the fourth, Atlanta leads 8-1. to one. Runners on first and second. That's going to get down Jose Encarnacion with it. And the runner's going to round third. The throw just barely not in time as they would extend this lead. Adam LaRoche now up to the plate. Fly ball into shallow left field. And Miguel Cabrera would be there to put it away. Nate Bump is now getting ready for us in the bullpen as we would bring him in here to relieve Josh Beckett in the fifth. A rough debut for him giving up nine runs. And then it's going to be Andrew Jones getting things going here against Bump for the Braves as he's going to drive in a run. As an 0-1 count here for Bump, that's going to get to Luis Castile and he's going to put it away. We finally get out of that inning as we move to the sixth. Adam LaRoche, deep fly ball. Miguel Cabrera puts it away, but that's going to tag in another run for Atlanta here. As they would go up 11-1 to in the bottom of the ninth, our last chance to keep this alive, and I don't think this is going to happen. As Miguel Cabrera would fly out to start the bottom half of the ninth here, Mike Lowell is going to ground out to second, and then Jeff Conine, a line out to second as well, and that is going to wrap up our opening day game against the Braves. As we would end up dropping 
dropping this one big time in embarrassing fashion an 11 to 1 loss at home. Game 2 would be a little closer but it would be another loss as well this time 3 to 2 as we head into this third game looking to avoid being swept here in our opening series. AJ Burnett taking the mound for us in today's matchup and Mike Hampton on the mound for the Braves. Marcus Giles here up to bat very first pitch of the game that's going to be drilled deep left field and Marcus Giles continues to kill us this series so far. Mike Lowell with a runner on first and second a chance to put some runs on the board and we're not going to take advantage as he would fly out. That would bring up Raul Mondesi now to the plate. He's going to take this one deep left field. That seems to be the sweet spot for the Braves as he knocks this one over Miguel Cabrera's head and out for a homer. It's now Juan Pierre up to the plate. Base is loaded. He's going to ground a third. Can they get the double play? No, they cannot. He would be called safe as we move to the sixth. And Damian Esley now in to pinch hit for A.J. Bennett as he's going to take this with the bases loaded. Can we get some runs? No, we cannot. So we waste that opportunity and bring in John Reelding from the bullpen as he would look to get us out of the seventh inning here. Two outs, deep fly ball in the right field. Jose Encarnacion flying over to put that away. And we would move to the bottom of the ninth, our last chance to try to win this ball game. That's going to be a ground out. That would bring up Luis Castile. One out, deep fly ball, left field. That's going foul, and they would be there to put that away. Two down, one to go for the Braves, but Paul LaDuca is going to save us here as he's going to get on first just barely. So we still have a chance, and this is down to Miguel Cabrera who's going to line out to second. And that is going to complete the sweep for the Braves here in Florida as they would win the three opening games here in the series. Another tough loss for us, 2-1 to one this time. And to make matters worse, Adrian Gonzalez is going to be out for eight days with a sprained ankle. So with no other infielders on our roster, we're sending Chris Aguilla off the bench to play shortstop for us. And we are hoping that we can turn things around it was a rough start, but it's a long season. Hopefully, this team can turn things around quickly. 